Okay, I've got good news and bad news. The bad news is that my Beats headphones. One layer of super glue and one layer of tape. But the good news is it was my birthday yesterday. So I was lucky enough to get a new pair of Apple AirPods from my lovely wife, Anya. Thanks, I love you. Because I'm the worst product reviewer in the world, everybody else has already talked about these. They've been out for months, but I wanna talk about my thoughts about them and how they meet my particular needs. I have a bunch of notes of things I need to look out for with these that I wanna to compare to the previous Beats and to other wired headphones I've had. I'm gonna be looking at how easily do they pair, how do they sound, do they look cool, sound isolation, battery life, and am I gonna lose them? First of all, pairing, yes, that was easy. Just like advertised, you open it up and it connects much easier than the Beats, which I often struggle with. For audio quality, I'm gonna compare these to the previous Apple EarPods, the Power Beats, and these Sony, MDR7506. These are what I use to edit video and podcasts. The Sony's sounded the best, which makes sense, but I was expecting to slightly prefer the Beats because they do have more bass. There's a lot more bass present, but it was a much more balanced sound coming out of the AirPods. They had a lot more good presence in the mids. The bass was less dominating, and when you switch back and forth between the Beats and the AirPods, the beats sound really muddy, so they definitely had a more balanced sound than the previous EarPods. Also, everybody's already talked about the fit of these. It's really up to your ears. My ears fit EarPods, AirPods, Apple headphones perfectly. So yeah, these already fit me pretty well. Now I'm gonna take these on the road for the rest of the test. We're going to LA tomorrow to shoot some portraits, so let's see how these do. So this video is gonna be a gear review slash travel vlog mashup, which I'm not really sure will make any sense, but let's experiment and hitting the road for a few weeks was the perfect chance to see what these headphones could do. Their sound isolation was at a really practical level for me where you can hear what you're listening to, but you're also still aware of your environment. On a plane, the squishy ear inserts of the Beats do make for much quieter listening, so in that case, they may work better, but in day-to-day -day use, it's totally a personal taste thing, and I often need headphones that keep me connected to the real world. I was worried there might be a little too much latency to edit video with them, but that turned out not to be an issue. These are my first pair of fully wireless headphones, so one of the first drawbacks that I noticed is that every time I need to take them out of my ears, I need to take out the case, put them in the case, and put the case away. With the one wire connecting the Beats headphones, I could quickly drop them and hang them around my neck. We're getting it ready for the Oscars. We've had the absolute worst weather on this trip. It's been raining every day. Uh, to the extent that so much water I ruined my shoes yesterday. At least there's great coffee here. Apple's implementation of true wireless headphones is a really strong first attempt. They connect quicker and hold the connection better than traditional Bluetooth thanks to that W1 chip. It really drives me crazy when the double tap doesn't work. Oh, it's worked. Didn't work. That worked. <laughs> I didn't anticipate what a huge pain it'd be to use these things with only one hand. It's been hard enough not to drop when you have two hands available. And there's quite a bit of weird play pause behavior because some of the long-standing iOS issues. This stuff needs to get sorted out in the future, but for now the convenience is usually making me forget about it. The way that they flip between one and the other is really impressive. Like from a technical perspective and having tried a few other headphones, they work really well. And I love how great it works when you listen with just one ear, which is how I spend most of my day. It conveniently switches to mono and it doubles the battery life. Speaking of the batteries, I have yet to have one die on me. I charge them when I think about it, I don't worry about them too much, and so far they've always been there for me. It's early morning and today we're uh, driving out to the desert for some photos. Back to the vlog for a second. This was my first time in Joshua Tree and wow, is it ever beautiful. We are there to shoot the new H&M Coachella collection, so you can see those photos on anyab.net or on the H&M Instagram and our post from the festival after we go. The lack of volume controls do drive me a little crazy. I also found myself skipping podcast ads a lot less. But after a while, the biggest advantage of truly wireless headphones became more important to me. That tiny little dental floss case was always comfortable in my pocket, never getting tangled, never getting broken. This clever little case is so much of the reason that these headphones are great. And the next leg of the trip was Las Vegas. It's a project show. Oh, hi. What, what is project show? Train show. Train show. Apparel train show. Yeah. Bioscope, 
people come for sourcing, there's the blogger project to promote it. It's a very big thing in Vegas. Everyone knows about it twice a year. I was there with a dozen high profile fashion bloggers, so I needed to get their take on if the AirPods are cool. We are at the Project Trade Show. This is Marcus, he invited us. Which is probably one of the number one contemporary fashion trade shows in North America. And it's where brands and buyers come together to do commerce. I don't think that the Apple AirPods look that cool. They look kind of awkward because you literally have two things in your ears and there's nothing there. There needs to be like a, a different finishing in my opinion. I mean, they kind of look like earrings of some sort. <laughs> okay, that's, that could be good, right? It's like um, getting their ears pierced, but they didn't want to actually have to deal with getting their ears pierced. They remind me of like industry, like music industry folks who have like specific headphones with a little, you know, the little, you know, stick of right, service yeah, type yeah. on. Yeah. But it is like designed to be ostentatious instead of blend in. Do you know what these are? Are these the new Apple earphones? Yeah, they are. So I want to know if they look cool. They look weird. <laughs> I really, really like Apple, but I'm just not ready for these things hanging out of my ears like that. Okay, honey, so obviously you got me these, so you must think they look super cool, right? Can you give me an honest opinion? How's this look? No, I don't like them at all. <laughs> I got them as a completely selfless gift. As a prank? That's how much That's how much you know, how much I care about you. Are you it's weird. I mean, I don't know. It's weird to me. It's not bad. It's just I weird. don't mind it. What about in like two years? Will, you, will people get used to it? Will I be used to it? Well, it's something I can definitely get used to, but it's silly looking. Well, that sounds like a unanimous thumbs down from the trendiest folks I know. We should do the helicopter Uber. I have not seen the Apple AirPods. Right. What do you think? Are these cool? They're not cool. They look like they're missing something. But hey, what do they know? Is it the cord? Yes. <laughs> I think everybody's looking for a way that Apple can add a bit more control to these simple headphones, but that obviously adds complexity as well, so it's fine with me if they take their time adding more functionality, because they do work pretty well at the moment. Okay, we're shooting outfits again. And Anya has the best outfit in Vegas. And we're also in the best location, look at this. This was in what movie, Anya? Las Vegas, Chris Walt's, Las Vegas. <laughs> Chris Walt's Chris Vegas. Las Vegas vacation. Okay, a quick personal tangent about charging. At the time that this video was made, Apple is still using lightning cables on all of their iOS devices, but I think the iPhone 7 and AirPods were the best time that Apple could have hoped to make the inevitable transition to USB-C. Putting lightning on the AirPods makes that a lot more difficult. To me, and I think to Apple, USB-C looks like the future everywhere. I think it's going to be a challenging transition for them. Okay, we're back home and apparently the studio has become a garden while we were gone, but I had a few weeks on the road to test the Apple AirPods and I think they're pretty great. They're not perfect. There's a million little things wrong with them. Like I could list more problems than obvious reasons that they're great, but they just fit into my life really well. The pocketability, the ease of connectivity, great sound quality. They just worked the way I wanted them to work, but we could definitely use some firmware updates from Apple. I think those double tapping problems of where it won't respond is based on iOS firmware problems, similar to what happens with plug-in headphones, but it's just not as big of an issue as when you got these wireless headphones. I think you could design the case a little differently for that one-handed issue I was talking about. Maybe like they just slide out instead of having a lid. I don't know. I mean, there's other ways to do it. I think version two, version three of these headphones are gonna be really great. Right now, they're better than anything else that I've had. And honestly, I'm super happy with them. It seems like they're pretty universally thought to be uncool, but you know, whatever. They definitely still look really great when they're out of your ears at the very least. So for now, the Apple AirPods are my new favorite headphones. I'm very open to the next generation, probably becoming my more favorite headphones. Some of the beats look really great too if you prefer a string around your neck, but I just really like the way that this no string thing fits in your pocket. Anyway, that's it for this video. Do you think this looks cool? I mean, it's not that bad, right?